Welcome to my channel Chemistry Not Mystery. You can also visit my website chemistrynotmystery.com. Today I am going to discuss the classification of metal cations. So watch this video till the end to learn what is the classification of metal cations and how are metal cations classified into groups. Why are the metal cations also named as basic radicals and what is the group reagent? First try to find out why are metal cations named as basic radicals. Salts are formed by the neutralization reaction of acid and base. Metal part of salt comes from the base. That's why metal cations is also called as basic radicals. The common metal cations are classified into five groups for systematic qualitative analysis. This classification is based on the difference in their behavior against some reagents and in increasing order of solubility of chloride, sulfide and carbonates of cations. Now see which are these different groups. In first group, following cations are included. Second group is further classified into second A and second B on the basis of their solubility in ammonium polysulfide. Cations of second A are soluble in ammonium polysulfide while cations of 2B are not. Third group has following cations. Fourth group has these three metal cations and fifth group has the following cations. If you noticed here, there is lead 2 cation that is common among first group and second group and ammonium ion is included in fifth group with metal cations. So why does lead 2 include in first group as well as in second group? And why does ammonium ion include in fifth group with metal cations? I will reveal its mystery in a few minutes. But before it, you need to learn a few concepts. First, we try to understand what is a group reagent. Each group of cations react with a particular reagent and forms precipitates. This particular reagent is known as group reagent for the corresponding group. Cations of any group do not react with group reagent of any other group. So what are the different group reagents for different groups? Dilute hydrochloric acid is a group reagent for first group. Cations of this group form chloride precipitate with dilute hydrochloric acid. Solubility product of chlorides of lead, mercury and silver are lowest. So they are precipitated first. Hydrogen sulfide gas or its saturated aqueous solution is the group reagent for second group. Cations of this group form precipitate in the form of sulfide. Third group reagent is ammonium sulfide solution or hydrogen sulfide gas in the presence of ammonia and ammonium chloride. Cations of this group do not react with group reagents of first or second group. They all precipitate with third group reagent in the form of sulfides. Fourth group reagent is one molar solution of ammonium carbonate in neutral or alkaline media. Cations of this group do not react with previous three group reagents. They give precipitate with fourth group reagent in the form of carbonates. While fifth group has no group reagent. Now I will explain you why does lead to include in first group as well as in second group. While other first group cations get precipitated as chloride on reacting with first group reagent that is dilute hydrochloric acid. It does not precipitate completely because lead chloride is more soluble than the chlorides of the other first group metal cations. Its complete precipitation can be done as sulfide in second group. That's why it is included in first group as well as in second group. Now come to the next question. Why does ammonium ion include in fifth group with metal cations? Because it has similar characteristic to the alkali metals and its general properties are similar to that of potassium as the size of both ions are identical. Now you have learned the classification of metal cations into different groups and their respective group reagents. But how do you separate these cations in salt analysis? Here is the strategy to separate cations of different groups. First you have to prepare an original solution by dissolving the salt in water or in a suitable solvent. Then on adding the first group reagent, if first group cations are present then you will get a precipitate. 
Now you can test this precipitate to confirm which cation is present. Now in the filtrate of first group, add second group reagent. And you will get a precipitate if second group cations are present. Separate the precipitate and perform tests for the cations. And keep the filtrate to test the remaining groups. Similarly, you can separate the precipitate of other groups. After separating the precipitate of each group, you will need to do confirmatory tests to know which metal cation is present. I will discuss each group separately, but before it, you need to learn how to prepare an original solution. I will explain it in my coming video. I hope now you understand the classification of cations and groups and their respective group reagents. But even if you have any doubt, you can post in the comment box and don't forget to like and share this video. And to get more such videos, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get a notification. You can also join my telegram channel. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Stay safe.